video I'm going to demonstrate to you how to cut uh, insulation board. You need a pencil, you need a measuring tape and you need a standard wood saw that you don't mind getting blunt and you're not going to use to cut wood anymore. Okay, now the measurement I need here is 73 by 33. So we start off on the edge of this, I get my measuring tape by there, I've got a rough old piece of board, but I'm going to cut, cut it up to the right size anyway. So we've got 73 centimetres. I put a mark there. Then we go here, I'm going to mark 33 centimetres. So I measured down just for the camera, I lift it up 33 centimetres, and I put a pencil on it. Okay, if you've got a square edge, and I've showed this in one of my other videos, using this saw you've got this 90 degree edge or you've got this that gives you a 45 degree edge. So I know I've got a square edge on the top of this board, so I'm going to use this to give me a 90 degree. So placing that on the square edge of the board, I'm just going to draw a line straight down there. And I'm going to cut straight through this with a hand saw. A bit tight for spacing here, so here goes. Now you see I cut right through the board here. The only reason I've done that is it's too tall to turn up in my garage. So I've cut it that way so I can saw it this way now. Makes life easier for me anyway. And I've already marked this. Okay, sorry about the wobble, I just hit the tripod. So there you have it. There's your piece of cut board, and that's all you do, just measure and cut. And you can find, make fine adjustments when you're back in the house and fitting the insulation. If you do get any gaps around your insulation that you want to put in the in between your, your joists or your rafters, you can always use expanding foam and just fill the gaps up to get a nice um, tight seal. The only thing to bear in mind when using this is check the building regs, because when you're putting insulation like this in between rafters, and it creates a tight seal. You do need to leave a gap above this between there and the felt. And the felt does have to be the more modern breathable felt, or otherwise you'll get condensation collect basically between your slates or your tiles and your insulation board, and you'll probably get problems with damp. So make sure when you use this, you're using the correct felt to go with it. Obviously, if you're just using it between joists, between the first and uh, second floors inside your house, it's not really a problem because all that's doing is, is making it warmer. I hope this video has been useful and allowing you to understand how to cut insulation. It's a fairly simple job. I hope you now have the confidence and the know-how to go on and have a go yourself. For more DIY tips, tricks, how-to and review, please watch my other videos. And please subscribe to my channel. I've been Pouse Around the House. See you next time.